Brittany and Logan, as you stand before your family and friends at a moment in your life, I'm sure you sometimes wondered if it would ever get here. What I want to say to you both is breathe. <laughs> want to make sure that in the dizziness of it all, you take a moment and enjoy this time that you both have looked forward to for so long. You're behind, you're before. You're a wide open door. Brittany, it's finally here. I will stay. After six and a half years of dating and one and a half years of wedding planning, today is finally the date that we have been waiting for. You good? <laughs> Within the first few days of talking, you made a promise to me. You promised to treat me how my dad would want his daughter to be treated. Want to wear a matching robe with us? Yeah. Oh, of course. <laughs> All right. For the last 2,419 days, you have not only kept that promise, but you have exceeded any expectation that I could have ever had. I know you're the man that my dad sent me to find. I have never known Brittany without knowing Logan. They are so enchanted by each other, even all of these years later. Logan and I met through a mutual friend. All of my friends were obviously at one high school. He actually went to a different high school. We were going to the movies one night, and he got the invite from a friend who happened to be my prom date my senior year of high school. We sat next to each other at the movie theater, and we started talking, and we've never stopped. I'm like, Same. <laughs> you never cry. <laughs> it's not even that cute of a story. So this is my mom's wedding ring that my dad gave her. Um, we put it into a necklace so we could walk me down the aisle. Brittany, take you, Logan. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. Hi, Logan, take you, Brittany. Hi, Logan, take you, Brittany. <laughs> to be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For richer or poorer. For richer or poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. I will love you and stand by you as long as we both shall live. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. I want to ask you to turn around and look out at the folks who are here with you. They love you and they want your marriage to succeed. 
And that's what it means to be a part of a family. That's what it means to have friends. For the past two decades, Logan has been like a brother to me. He has always been my right hand throughout the biggest moments of my life, and I can't wait to be able to watch everything beautiful unfold for the two of you. Brittany is just one of those friends that's always there, even when she's working a 60-hour week and planning a wedding. She's always been one step ahead of the curve. At 17, she started a life with Logan, and dived into a long-distance relationship just three months after meeting him in high school. At 20, Brittany graduated college with honors and landed her dream job. At 21, Brittany bought her first house. And at 24, almost seven years after meeting him, she's married to the love of her life. I do think it's interesting that God will take a kid from St. Pete and, you know, puts me with my wife and takes <laughs> takes Cheryl and, and and Frank and they have Brittany and <laughs> anyhow <laughs> I'm I'm so blessed for both of them and I wish them 30 years from now we're all here talking about this and having a great time. <laughs> Tale, and I have no doubts that their life will be nothing short of magic. There is only one happiness in life, to love and be loved. May your happiness last a lifetime to Logan and Brittany.